faith. I guess everyone's got to have a little faith. <laughs> time is late. Well, they're luxury apartments, so if he lives in the smallest place in town, but it's still a luxury apartment, then that's not really so bad, is it? Luxury apartments? Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Why? Are you humble? Stay off the grass. That's always good life advice right there. Snow can sometimes be a disciplinarian. Snow? Sounds like snow can be a pain in the grass. Anything else? Nope. Who's you? <laughs> There's no walking on the grass, no white orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. Those shoes, though. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. I wonder where she's going. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't, don't look have upset. Time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Well, when I said I'd stay out of it, that means I probably won't it's tell not him what anything. You might be thinking. What should I be thinking? Oh look, there's a heart with a 14 in it. That's like Valentine's Day. Well, you know me. I like to stay neutral as much as I can until I really know more about the characters. You good for nothing sleeper. Huh. Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. We can touch it. Well, I saw a pot of coffee by the sleeping guard. I guess I didn't do him any good, though. been a while since I got any mail. I guess 204 is your place, Bigby? Seventh day in a row. Hmm. Two oh four is blank. I wonder if there's any meaning behind that. I don't want to go upstairs yet. Let's go check out this guard. You can say a man has his guard up, but it's really up if he's not awake. Uh, all right, let's wake this guy up. Hey, you wink? Grimble? Hmm, probably for the best. Wonder if he'd be sleepy, one of the seven dwarves. 
right, let's go upstairs. Know how to push all the right buttons. Oh, his knuckles are still all bloody from being bruised. He walks so macho. Uh, what does that hey, look? Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Oh. So, uh. <laughs> have you? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. Welp, you know, still staying neutral, keeping my hands clean. So he does live in 204. I guess he doesn't want to be interrupted Damn. by any phone calls. Why is it getting hot in here? Have you ever noticed that in games like this or in TV shows, they always wash their face as a sign of, I guess, trying to relax or clearing away the stress? I never do that. I feel like it doesn't really help. It just makes your face sweat. Damn it. No ice for you. Why do Huff I Puff? Should have got a smaller one. What is Huff Puff? Bluebeard folder. Bluebeard's file. Who's Bluebeard? Never trusted this guy. Why do we have a file on him? Has he done something? Chinese food. I don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. It would be interesting if it was that girl from before who said she would stop by later. Oh, a fan. At least this still works. Well, Bigby, it looks like you're not such a bad guy after all. You've got a fan right here. <laughs> Should help. Alright, now that we got some cool air on us. What? Uh, Colin? Oh, not again. Uh, huh. Hey, Big B. He has a human face. Chair, huh? <laughs> yeah, get out. Yeah, get out. Aww. <laughs> Big B is not impressed. That is one manly looking pig. Don't give me that look. Got a smoke? Uh, well, obviously. Oh, are you asking for one? Is that what this is about? Well, I've never seen a pig smoke before. First Thanks. time for everything. A couple thousand more of these. We'll be even on that house you owe me. <gasps> this is oh, bad. Cause... Stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. Because he's the big bad wolf who blew down the, the pig's fresh houses. The fresh sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. 
Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you <laughs> what I told Toad. And what's that? You're putting all of Fable Town at risk. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. that oh, everyone's me? gonna love us. Nope. The house didn't nope. blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. What are you driving at? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh what an asshole. Nice. <laughs> I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. No. I'm just lovable. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. <laughs> but, uh, Fair enough. No, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Oh, and you have hairy arms too. Not that that's Who'd scary you get in a or fight anything. With? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. He's unimpressed. <laughs> You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By <laughs> being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. No. Name one. Uh, I, I, I don't know her name. Awkward. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. <laughs> Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I'm getting lectured like by this a pig. whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Oh I'm my god. Already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. No. If I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Oh, 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 <laughs> I could have been such a jerk. Oh, you lucky pig. Thanks, Big B. So weird. Is it our lady friend from before? <laughs> Gotta look good. Big B. Snow? Come with me. Oh. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Just uh, slow down. No, keep up. We need to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These walls are paper thin. 
We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Did something happen to the security guard from before? Oh, no, his feet were still there. Why are you looking like that? Oh, what? No. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. Oh, that she sucks. Familiar. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. Oh, her neck looks man. brutal. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, tell me what happened. Every detail. I wish there was more to tell. I... Left the office, walked past the security desk. Luckily, he was asleep. Grimble? Yeah. Then I opened the door and I found her. Like this. I came to get you right away. And that's all? That's it. Sorry. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. All right, well, let's take a look around. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Well, there's a paper in there. Let's look at the neck first. That is... There's a ring right around her neck. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Oh... Do you guys think the ribbon? The ribbon she had around her neck, and it's such a jagged cut, maybe that ribbon had magic in it that made her get de decapitated. Huh. What is? It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Oh, I feel like her ribbon is definitely part of this. That's important. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? Uh, let's look we around. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. 
Oh, I thank you. Uh huh. Touch it. <laughs> blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Do you think it's her blood? Or someone else's? Did someone use these spikes to decapitate her? Or did they get caught on them? No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. I don't have any jeans that look like that. Just some loose trash. That looked like it was a bag in there. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. And what if we touch it? Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. You didn't even touch it, Bigby, you wuss. <laughs> you big bad wolf, but you won't touch any blood? Oh! Oh, that would look so bad if we compare the fabric to her. Thanks, nah. You alright? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Let's let's try it. I hope she doesn't take it the wrong way. What <laughs> are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. I promise you weren't just checking out your legs. <laughs> we should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big P. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. And she said all she'd come us. by. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. Glad you agree. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know well, I don't, don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. I don't Just see a don't reason want him interfering. Well, I didn't see a reason not to tell him. Apparently now he might interfere. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. 